Okay, now that we have your RAM installed, now it's time to get the last component installed, the hard drive. Or more so, the last major component. In this case, it's an SSD. I can really consider it SSDs the same as hard drives. Hard drives are hard disk drives. They use internal spit and disk. While this is called the SSD solid state drive. For it has no moving parts inside of this. So it's much um, safer for a laptop use or if you're moving your computer around while it's on. But in this case, um, I still consider it a hard drive. I consider hard drive storage capacity. But you know, whatever, it's SSD hard drive. Uh, SSD is the correct term, but uh, I'll just stop there. Um, this is actually a, um, a 3.5 inch drive to uh, no, 2.5 inch drive to 3.5 inch drive adapter, so it'll fit. But I won't, I'm not actually going to use this for this computer. This came with my other SSD that I never used it for. I won't use it for this computer either. Um, it's best if you want a secured SSD and everything else to fit nice that you can buy one of these separate for, I don't know, $5, I'm not sure how much they cost. Or some SSDs will come with them. This SSD specifically did not come with this, so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to plug it in here. You'll have your um, Molex, not Molex, your SATA power here. As you can see, like this, I'll just plug in just like that plugs in like that probably what I'm just gonna do is just leave it sit here at the bottom of the case just like that and I mean once the case is set in a in our office my parents office it won't be moving much so this is gonna be with the cable um, pushing it against it's not gonna move much down here you see it's kinda almost to the bottom not quite so I'm not actually gonna screw this in I could screw it in on the back when I'm actually I might because this case seems to work so I might flop a little bit but I'll keep it kind of kind of steady screw it in from the back but that's up to personal preference I'm not gonna actually screw it in for this video um, you should be able to get that from screwing in the whatever it's just use your screws that came with your case and screw that in we're also gonna get your other SATA drive I mean SATA cable that came with your computer here as said, whatever it seems to plug in best, and it seems this goes up, which I don't know if that's better or not, but I guess it is. I think this is the right direction. We make sure again. It is not the right direction. Yeah, it goes down. So that seems like it will work if it goes down. But I don't. Uh, but it looks like it might be better if I just plugged it in, like flat. The um, angled piece down here. Just kind of stuff all this extra cable back here. Kind of wrap this around and get it um, correctly plugged in right here. Just like that. Have this extra cable. We can kind of tie that up later between the other hard drive that's coming out of the old computer for extra data storage in this one. But that's all it takes to install an SSD slash hard drive in your computer. I mean, a regular hard drive will fit between these little slots right here. And then screw in like normal. And that's what the fan's for to cool off the hard drive and get fresh air into the computer. The SSDs won't overheat, so you have no issue with that. That's all it takes to install an SSD slash hard drive in your computer. Remember, if you have any questions, comment below. And Google's always that thing to use. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.